Hey everyone, this is Rivenblade with a quick AEW news update. The Tokyo Joshi Pro Twitter account has announced that Yuka Sakazaki will be on U.S. excursion and she will be in the U.S. from July to appear in AEW. This is perfect timing and great news for AEW as they go back live on the road. Yuka Sakazaki was a fan favorite before the pandemic and she immediately injects a freshness, a new life, a good energy into the AEW women's division. So what I'm going to do in this video is give you a quick fantasy booking scenario and then a bunch of potential matchups that she could have in AEW over the summer and uh, let me know do you think those matchups could be interesting uh, which ones are less interesting than others and so on so let's go back to February 2020 Yuka Sakazaki has just beaten Britt Baker in a singles match yes Yuka Sakazaki has beaten Britt Baker in AEW in the post-match, though, Britt was none too happy, and she got so mad that she busted a couple of Yuka's teeth. Uh, this was kind of a cheesy angle, but you know what? It's pro wrestling. I can accept it. Uh, so Britt was just really mad that she lost. And the next month, there was a tag match on Dark between Britt and Penelope Ford taking on Yuka and Riho. In that match, Yuka had her eyes set on Britt from the very beginning. She went to town on her right away before the bell even rang, and the crowd went nuts for it. It was, it was something else to see. Uh, unfortunately, though, um, the opposition, Britt and Penelope, still worked on Yuka's face and on her mouth region. And here, even Riho is just shocked at this carnage that just is, is happening in front of her. Anyway, uh, Riho actually ends up losing this match. So we ended up with a situation where Yuka never really you know, got revenge for having her teeth knocked out because she ended up losing the match that followed up. And Britt never really beat Yuka in a singles match. So I'm just assuming, I'm, I'm just fantasy booking here. And I know it would take a bit of work probably on Dark and Elevation and maybe a significant singles win on Dynamite for Yuka. But how about a quick little brief hot summer program between Yuka Sakazaki and Britt Baker going back to this original angle, going back to the idea that Britt has never beaten Yuka in a singles match. I think it could be pretty fun. Uh, their first match was pretty decent. This tag match was actually pretty decent. I just rewatched it today. And uh, you can actually see it if you just just uh, go to YouTube and just search for uh, Riho, Yuka, Britt, Penelope, Dark. It's it's a good match. Anyway, so that's kind of my uh, my fantasy booking. Maybe Britt can take out Yuka in a special edition Dynamite or a late August Dynamite right before um, All Out. Or maybe at All Out. I don't know. Anyway. All right, let's look at some other potential opponents for Yuka. So we have Abaddon. I mean, Abaddon versus Yuka. Uh, that could be pretty interesting. Yuka's facial reactions and Abaddon's kind of creepy crawly uh, character could clash really well, I think. Uh, the bunny versus Yuka. I just really like the way the bunny works. I think her and Yuka could have pretty good chemistry and the bunny's wild maniacal laughs during the match uh, mixed with Yuka's just exuberance could be a fun contrast. Uh, next up, Big Swole. She's got a new attitude. We haven't seen her in a while. Maybe a matchup against Yuka could warm up both of them. Uh, next, Hikaru Shida. I mean, she just lost the AEW Women's Championship. Having a Joshi match, uh, like Joshi versus Joshi, could be pretty cool. Jade Cargill versus Yuka Sakazaki. This one I like, and this one I would actually put Jade Cargill over in um, because it would just really annoy fans, and that's kind of what you want. And if Yuka is only here for a month or two months or three months, who knows, um, having her lose on the way out to someone that is already getting heat and could really give her even more heat, I think could be a good booking decision. How about Yuka versus Layla Hirsch? Face versus face, or maybe Layla will be a heel at that point. Uh, I really like the... They're both smaller competitors, so I think they could have a fun little match, uh, especially with Layla's kind of amateur wrestling background mixed with Yuka's high-flying and submission game. Nyla Rose versus Yuka. You know, you have the David and Goliath story here. Uh, that could be fun. How about Penelope Ford? Hey, they've been in a tag match together. Penelope's improving. Yuka is having a heck of a run um, just elsewhere right now in the world. So uh, I think those two could have a pretty good match. Serena Deeb. I mean, Serena Deeb is a heel at this point, right? 
Uh, she just had that tremendous buy-in match against Riho at Double or Nothing. So how about Serena Deeb and Yuka Sakazaki? That could be fun. And I saved this one for last. Tai Conti versus Yuka Sakazaki. Yeah, yeah, I think that needs to happen. I, I really want to see Tai just kind of use those knees, use those boots to the face, those strikes, and uh, those judo throws on Yuka as Yuka tries to escape the grip of Tai Conti. Anyway, I guess what I'm saying is the AEW women's division has a lot of talent, and I really hope they use them well over the summer and moving forward because Yuka Sakazaki is awesome, and the AEW women's division is awesome. It's pretty stacked. I just I I didn't even use everybody you know that's on the roster page, just the ones that were the most interesting to me. Anyway, Yuka Sakazaki back in AEW. Yeah yeah yeah. Really psyched for it. What are you looking forward to from Yuka Sakazaki this summer? Let me know. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Turn on notifications. And I'll see you next time.